Holly's here. And it says we are live. So hi, Holly. Hi, Ela. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> All of those things. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my! I didn't have my volume down on my phone. Whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you worried me there for a minute. Yeah, well, I turned I turned off all the bell notifications and all that junk, but, you know, I'm just saying, I can make a mess out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Shell? I'm okay. I've got loud construction sounds outside, so I hope nobody can hear that. Um, it's kind of driving me crazy. Wish they'd shut up. Yeah. <laughs> well... I'm not hearing it, so hopefully nobody okay, else is hearing it either. I see that uh, Marilyn is joining us. Hi. Hi, Marilyn. So if you guys have been following along with us, we have been doing daily prompts for Art Journal Habit 2019, and today is no different, right? Today is no different. Today is no different. We're doing plants. So I will be putting plants. this one up later today because this was my one for yesterday that I didn't get done. This is for mix and I just mixed it up and did all kinds of fun stuff here. So um, I'll be putting a video up for this. I know Shal has been busily making all kinds of art for you guys. Well, I've been on the road. And uh, with us i've been watching you know on instagram and on the facebook group to see what you guys are doing and there's a lot of cool stuff coming out of this so kind of liking that um today today's prompt is plant you got a plan there shell Yes, I've got my page out of my book already. Um, this is, of course, a gel printed page. It's got some green in the background with some kind of grid-like stuff. And then it's got some stuff over the top in blues. I figured that would be the one I would use. And I'm just going to make some plants. So I thought I'd start out with some stenciling and then um, do some illustration. Because when all else fails, I fall back on illustration. But I do have this stencil girl stencil. That has some lovely plants on it. So I thought I would put those in the background and then do some drawing ones in the front. Cool. That's my big plan. So I've got out uh, evergreen, lime, and olive, Dina Wake paints. I'm going to put those on my palette for some stenciling, I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little white or off white. So what's well, I had started out, you know, I while I was doing yesterday's prompt, I had started out by putting some color down on the opposite page for today's uh, prompt, which is plant. And um, what I had done is I'd taken a bunch of washi tape like this. And while Shell and I were talking this morning, I took a piece of tissue paper or paper or anything that you've got. And I just take the washi tape and start applying. And get a surface like this. Okay, so it's just little pieces of washi tape stuck down to a piece of tissue paper. And my plan is I'm going to take this stencil, which is a plant stencil. And show you what that looks like. It's kind of a leaf. And I'm liking that. And I think I'm going to try tracing around this on here. Not sure how well I'm going to be able to cut that out, but I'll, I'm willing to give it a try. Thought it'd be kind of cool. So that's where I'm starting from anyway. Sounds I'm kind of good. tired. Hi, Cindy. We have Cindy Bagley coming in with us. Um, I've been traveling. For the last week, if you guys didn't see, um, I was at Art of the Carolinas with some of our friends out in uh, North Carolina. And let me tell you, huh, 
I've still got stuff coming in because um, I couldn't bring it all home in my suitcase. <laughs> so my friend <laughs> shipping stuff home to me. And I will have lots of good, cool stuff to be showing you guys before too long. So I'm just trying to figure out how do I want, I think I want it going this direction on my page. So I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go this way. And I have a, um, this is a Pilot Multiball pen. And it's supposed to write over just about everything and be permanent. So I think I'm going to trace around my stencil with that Pilot Multiball. So have any of you ever been to uh, Art of the Carolinas? It's a, a show that's put on by Jerry's Art Arama. And uh, let me tell you, the prices are really super duper good. You know, if you got a way of carting that stuff home with you, it's a deal. Sure. And they don't they don't ship from the show, so you have to have a way of getting it out of there. But I saw big pallets of canvases and all kinds of cool. Um, easels and oh my goodness it was awesome and then we also went to a place called scrap exchange which is kind of like my um, art secondhand place that we have here and it had all kinds of scrappy stuff that you can use in your art and one of the boxes that i'm getting shipped home to me is all ephemera because um, I found some antique ephemera that I'm going to use in my art. And it is so cool. Can't wait to get that. Hi, Cindy Utter. Speaking of people from Carolina. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> people from that <laughs> neck of the woods. Yes, yeah, Cindy was there with me and we were enjoying... Uh, lots of things like the uh, Frida Kahlo uh, exhibit at the art museum was amazing. Really loved that. And it's so, you know, it's always different to see those pieces up close and personal. Yeah. Yes, we did have a blast. And we made some fun art. Cindy and I took uh, Jody Ohl's class together. And we both love what Jody does and had a whole lot of fun in that class. Yeah, I'm so envious. I wanted to take that class. Yeah. There were other ones there that I wanted to take too, but, you know, time was limited. Um I saw some from Carol Nelson. I would love to take some classes with Carol. Uh, trying to think of who the other artists were that were there that I wanted to take classes with. But, you know, I got to see some of the people that you see on the Jerry's Artorama channel, like um, Ophelia. I got my picture taken with Ophelia. She was roaming around the show floor. And so, of course, I had to stick my head in and get a picture taken with Ophelia. And also... Um, think of the other gal's name right now that does a lot of the YouTube uh, panel videos for Jerry's Artorama. So the two um, that are Amy, Amy, that's what her name is. They have that uh, two minute art tips or something. I watch that on YouTube. Yeah. It's a good thing to help with just little, it's basically like advertising because they're telling you about a product, but you're also learning about some product. And yeah. That's cool. Well, and it's fast and informational. Yeah. I mean, there are longer ones. Like I know that Ophelia does, I don't know, kind of a show like ours, like an hour and a half of our journaling. Uh -huh. um, and I'm, Amy does more of the fine art stuff. Uh, but she teaches you about the paints and products and yeah. So they're good to watch, you know, if you're, yeah, that's rather than watching commercial TV. Sometimes I like to flip that on. 
have it run in the background, right? Yeah. Wow. So I started doing a little bit of illustrate plant illustrations when I was uh, waiting in the the before the show. You know, we just we come in the two the the room and we wait and. Um, I've got some different scraps of papers, and I'm just going to illustrate over the top of them. I drew this little terrarium, and I'm going to put that on, and then I have this. We have a lot of house plants here at the house. Um, they're kind of taken over downstairs. There's one of them that's all woven. We have, like, uh, mini blinds, and it's all just woven in and through and in and through this mini blind downstairs, and I'm thinking to myself, how in the heck am I ever going to get that thing up to repot the plant or uh, you know, move it or something? <laughs> it's woven in itself into that so hard. So I'm using ink tense pencils today for coloring um, because they're permanent when they're water activated. So I've made my little illustrations with uh, pencil drawn over them with permanent um, illustration pen that's India ink and I'm just coloring and activating with the old water tank brush to get my illustrations to have a little color so at some I'm point, I'll probably put some words on my page. I don't know. I'm just winging it. Sure. That's what we do when we journal. We just wing it. Yeah. I'm having a little bit of issues because this is still damp. And, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I have a few issues when it's still damp. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm good with that. So... What are we saying in the chat? Hey, Gina Aarons. Yeah, Gina says her favorite was the Frida. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that would have been cool. right up my alley. <laughs> hey, Becky. I hope you're feeling better today, miss. Becky was not feeling the best when I saw something from her yesterday. There's so, crud going around already. Winter, winter junk. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody's had their shots and is taking care of themselves because winter I junk is no fun. Considering our, our family situation, I should go get a flu shot. I saw yeah. that they had them available at uh, CVS and Walgreens. And yeah. Stuff. Well, I took Ron in. He got his flu shot and his pneumonia shot. Oh, yeah. Pneumonia shot. Good idea. So I think we're pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if I like this or not. I might change my whole mind about this. <laughs> <laughs> you worried about it? <laughs> so far, I'm not impressed. You know, and that's the thing about art journaling is you can change your mind about all of this at any point. I was thinking this was going to be so cool. It still could be. Don't give up on it yet. I haven't. I haven't. I'm just saying. I'm, I think I want to cut it in closer. That might be that might be part of it, you know. That yeah. Outside the line too far. I was getting anxious. So I'll cut it in closer. Beck says she's better today and she says she's had all of her shots. Oh, the the uh Frida is going to Portland, she says, in June. It's going to Portland? Yeah. Well, I should go up there, visit my friend, visit my yeah. other friend who now lives near Portland. And, there you go. Um, 
go to a soccer game. Well, I don't, well will that be soccer? Mm -hmm. should be back on in June. Yeah, I should do that. Jean, I'm coming to visit you. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I grew up in Oregon, so. Now they're talking about chicken pox and all that stuff. See where we start. <laughs> I think that the one I'm thinking is shingles. I think ch chicken pox and shingles are related to each other. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I think that it would be a really good idea based on some people that I know who had shingles. That is not a nice thing to have. Yeah, I got the shingle shot, but I guess now there's a super duper sing shingle shot that you can get. Oh, really? Yeah, that's supposed to, yeah, because um, they keep changing the mix on that stuff. So I probably should go back and get the super duper sh shingle shot because I do not want shingles. Let me tell you, no. that is an awful it's disease painful. to have. It's awful. Awful, awful. I know some of my friends that have had it and my uh, cousin had it and oh my goodness, you can't go. They put you on these meds so that you can't go out in the sun and stuff and you get really, really sick and Ugh. yeah. I don't want that. No, 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 no. All right, let's see if I can okay. draw. I'm, I'm liking it when I cut it in a little closer, I think. I don't know. Just still isn't quite what I had anticipated. You know? That's kind of how things work sometimes. Yeah, for sure. So, all right. Ooh, Gina, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do not think that looks right. I don't know if I know how to draw that. Sometimes I don't. Oh, well. So, speaking of what's going on and people being around and stuff, you know, and being gone and in crowds. Um, yeah. Next week, you know, what's coming up. Yeah. We know that Thursday is a holiday. So uh, I have family coming in and Shell's got stuff going on too. So we will not be doing a live next Thursday. Just telling you in advance. So don't be looking for that. Yeah. That is literally the holiday. Like, yep. That's not yep. even like, that's an actual holiday for us. So we will be giving thanks with our families. Yeah. Or friends or people. Well, and it's not people. like there isn't anything to watch because we've been producing these videos with the art journal habit. So yeah. if you want something to watch, you can go out and watch some of those art journal habit videos that we've been doing. I don't know if this is this is making any sense. Well I don't know if this is making any sense, but <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew what I was drawing, but sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks, Cindy. Yes, we we do need to make those memories because we know how quickly time goes by. Yes. And, you know, families are so distant nowadays. We all have busy lives and it is so great when you can actually spend time with your loved ones. So I'm looking forward to that greatly. It's been a while. And, you know, you can talk on all kinds of things, Skype, uh, Messenger, whatever, but it's just not the same as being there to give them a hug, you know? Yeah, that's true. Uh, 
I need my hugs. I to go visit my kid in December because I just never see him. And um, so someday it'll be like that with all of them. The other one's yeah. still here, but it will yeah. come a time and I won't see any of them. That's what sucks about them growing up it's like stop doing that why are you growing? <laughs> uh, you people need to say little i know i i'm amazed uh my second grandchild is graduating from high school this year and i'm saying oh my how can that be it just yeah how does time pass like that so fast I like this little eraser pin for this type of stuff. It's a mono, Tombow Mono Zero eraser. Oh, I got one of those. I got one of those at Jerry's Hard Rambo. <laughs> yeah, I like it because those are cool. There's some of these little lines I need to erase. Uh huh. Can erase in between. They're, They're pretty amazing. I'm be able to do with my bigger one. So. Well, I I. I uh, so I cornered the market on erasers. I'm let me tell you, between the brushes and the erasers, I was in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I mean, I got let's see, I got just as a sample here, I got this vanishing one, I got this art stroke one, I got well, I had that. Uh, I got a um. Marie's Erase for Highlight, which I thought was interesting. Huh. Um, hadn't seen that one before, but I got to give it a try, right? Right. And that little one that you showed, and then I got this uh, new needable one because mine was gross. <laughs> well, they do get gross. They get really gross. So I think I'm I'm set for erasers now. I'm going to have to. Right. Switch pencils if this one don't, probably needs a, a new lead put in it. Grr. But you know, different erasers for different purposes, right? Mm. It's like different brushes for different purposes. Yep. You don't want to use your acrylics with your watercolors and your... Mm. Especially because my watercolor brushes are super expensive. Yeah, right. Is this going to make sense? I just don't know. I think I should have put this on some. That would have been smart. I should have put this on some uh, double stick adhesive. So you know what you do when you don't remember to do that before you start cutting out? <laughs> uh, maybe you do it after. I'm not sure. Uh, it would be called a Xyron machine. <laughs> well, well, I don't have a Xyron machine. Becky says everybody's adding to their wish list now. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've had, I've had my Zyrons for years. You know, these are from my old card making, scrap making days. Yeah, I used to have a really large one and I got yeah. rid of it because I didn't, I couldn't find the rolly things for it anymore. Right, because they quit making certain sizes. Yeah. This one, they still happen to have cartridges for and I kind of stocked up on them too well that was smart uh, and the little X machine I use all the time you guys know what that is the little X machine yeah I've seen it um, they're for little tiny pieces like this and these work really great because you can just drop drop a little tiny piece in there and pull it out the other side and you make a sticker 
So see there, there's a sticker. So these are, and these are only like 10 bucks or something. And I think the refills are maybe five and then you use a coupon at one of the craft stores and it's really not that bad. And I think there's maybe, I don't know, 18 or 20 feet on here and you can get it in different sticks. This one says permanent. So this has a permanent adhesive on it. So, but I have used Xyron for years and then, um, the, the cool thing about the one like this, it has the cover sheet that goes over it and it picks up all that extra sticky. So I like to just kind of burnish that down and get all the extra sticky away from the edge then. Now, before I stick this down on this page, Peggy says she needs Zyron refills. Yeah. Yeah, Gina yeah, says she doesn't want to dip her $65 watercolor brush into acrylic paint or glue. I'm with you there. <laughs> Holly says she uses cheap Walmart brushes. Yeah, I mean, I, I use, like, for a lot of my stuff, I use, like, these dollar store things, which are, you know, if you're, if you're going to beat up a brush, these work just fine, you know, or um, I got these uh, little silicone ones too that work just fine so that if you're doing glue stuff, you know, these, I think these were honestly in a clearance aisle at uh, maybe Hobby Lobby or someplace like that, but those kind of things work fine too. Yeah, for acrylic, I think acrylic is hard on brushes. So yeah, I use cheapy ones for acrylic in that, but then the watercolor, I have really nice ones because it, it does actually make a difference. Yeah. So you want ones that can really hold a lot of water up in the, the ferrule for watercolor. So, yep, yep. So I don't use my watercolor ones for acrylic. <laughs> well, watercolor brushes, you know, good watercolor brushes are quite expensive. I mean, I have a few that are costly, and I, I cherish them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I have some other watercolor brushes that are not so precious, but I still don't want to use any other mediums on them. You know, just not a good thing. Yeah, I keep mine separate, too. I have a container for just that. Okay, so I'm liking that, but I think I want to... Uh, dull down the background just a little bit with some gesso maybe before I start all of that. So let me get one of those brushes I had out here and I'm just going to smear some of that gesso in. And dull that out a bit. Because I want, I want to be able to see that image, and it's very busy already. Um, so in order to have that kind of come off the page a bit, I need to dull down that background just a bit. Okay, and I'm going to heat gun. Why are you not coloring on me? Oh, and I need a sip of coffee. Oh. I already drank my tea. It's too late. It's already mm. gone. Well, I'm on my second cup. <laughs> Not the first one in the morning. All right. I decided I, I need one of those little, um, those things that keeps your drink warm. Oh, yeah. I need one of those. 
She just like I forget it. My best at work. I drink the first few hot sips and I'm like, oh, that's so nice. And then then I just forget about it. And then the next time I drink it, it's cold. So I drink most half of my tea cold. I need to look for those because, you know, usually this time of year, places like the dollar store have those. Oh, do they? I'm, I'm talking about the ones you plug in. Yeah, they just they plug into the electric and it's got a little round heat thing on the bottom that you set your yeah. ceramic up on. That's what I need. I need one of those. Yeah. Well, I do have I do have the thermal mugs. Uh -huh. I don't always reach for those in the morning when I'm making my coffee. Those are when I'm on the road. Well, I have these um these big mugs that hold a lot in there. They're have designs from Pendleton uh, woolen mill woven blankets and stuff. Oh yeah, from Oregon because I grew up in Pendleton. Which... Sure you did. And why would you not have Pendleton? That would yeah. be great. So, I love those designs. I collected some of those. Actually, my my best friend who still lives in Pendleton gave them to me. She collect you know collects them over time or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And well. I remember some of my favorite um, jackets, you know, those wool jackets for the fall. Yeah. I had those Pendleton designs on them. Those were great. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if I can get this up without ruining it. Let's see what I can do about this. Maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. I think I'll get it started and then tack down one end. Because this is going to be difficult with all those little lobes. Yeah. Okay. Get it started. And see how that adhesive has helped me place that. And then maybe I can peel off the rest. I don't know. Wishful thinking, maybe. It's like making pie dough. You know how when you go to peel the pie dough and it doesn't always want to cooperate? <laughs> Yeah, I was just doing that recently. You you would be amazed at the amount of tomatoes I have. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> in November, I have a I'm out in the garage right now. Well, you know, my plants are still producing. Yeah. In November, they're going yeah. crazy. And so I made a couple of tomato pies, which is a southern thing. Yeah. Um, and I saw it. So while I was doing that, I made four pie crusts because I knew pie season was coming and I was going to have company and stuff. So I have pie crust in the freezer. Uh huh. A couple because I made two tomato pies and then I, I just um, put the other pie crust on its little. You know, I put it on the, the plates mm -hmm. and put it in the freezer. <laughs> oh, that guy's a little bit tall. He's a little bit tall. He might get cut off just a bit. There's my terrarium. Here's my terracotta pots. Still need a few more. Looks cool. I'm just using my uh, carrier sheet to burnish that down with, make sure I get good. You know, because this is a, a bumpy paper surface, so everything does not always want to stick to it well. And honestly, that uh, watercolor paper has trouble with stuff adhering to it anyway. So I've got it stuck down pretty good now, but I'm also going to, uh, number one, I'm going to move these watercolors out of the way. And I'm going to put a coat of uh, gel medium over the top just to make sure I seal everything down. Um, let me get one of my not so good brushes here. Oh, well, here we go. There's a drawing pencil. And 
put that down. And this serves a couple of purposes. It's sealing my page because now I can go over it with other things and uh, seals that washi tape piece that I created down on the page. I'm at it. I think I'll. These are ones I glued down this morning, so I think I'll just go ahead and put a little bit on the companion page while I'm at it. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to have to dry again. Imagine that. Are we frozen? I'm not seeing new comments coming in. The last comment I saw was Gina. Maybe nobody's talking. Okay, I hope things are working right. I always hope things are working right. Yeah. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they're not. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, Gina says, I am here. Maybe they're with. Maybe they're making pages. That would be cool. They should be. Yeah, that would be smart. There are definitely people keeping up because I see stuff coming in on Instagram and uh, inside the page. An art joy of sharing. I see people's pages coming in. It gets a little confusing because people's Instagram names are different than their Facebook names and stuff. <laughs> so Shell and I were talking this morning, you know, because we're looking at December coming up real soon and things for the new year. And, you know, if you guys have any idea about what you would like to see with our Facebook groups, with, um, you know, what what you're working on currently, what you'd like to see happen in those groups. Uh, please, you know, if you don't feel like putting it in a message here, private messages or put it in one of the groups so that we can find it and, uh, you know, respond to what your wishes are. Because, um, you know, we do this for you guys. This is all prepared for you to help you with uh, what you're doing in your art. So, you know, if this isn't helpful, <laughs> then we need to figure out what we're doing and, and how to make it better for you. So that's the goal anyway. Okay. So I want, I think I want a combination of colors here. I think I'm going to start with a light blue big brush pen. Let's see what this does. Because what I want to do now is um, put some shadowing in. Around this. Weird. Weird, weird. And this, I'm seeing that this watercolor paper is still quite absorbent. But I didn't get it all sealed. And honestly, if 
if I was taking my time with this, I probably would have gone back in and put another coat over it. Yeah, I know the whole quapa thing is driving everybody crazy. Uh, Cindy's downloading video. That's good. Um, son's wedding. All right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we're trying to do is help you guys learn about the different products, different mediums, different, um, and, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that we do. I mean, sometimes we do assemblage, sometimes we do art journaling, sometimes we do um, canvases. I mean, if you want, you know, abstract versus realism versus, you know, Tell us what it is that excites you the most or, you know, what you'd like to see. Okay, this is almost dry. I can't believe it. I have had these for years. And I'm honestly getting to the point where one of these is getting close to being dry. <laughs> I might have to buy a new big brush pen. <coughs> it's got to happen eventually. Yeah. <coughs> ah. So this paper was very strange. This is a a scrap of laser printed background from one of our um, seasonal background exchanges. And when I tried to draw and color over the top of it, it's like almost resisting. Huh. It's very strange. It's, I don't know. I had it printed for me. Yeah, what know. was it printed on, do you know? Some just some something from from uh, the office, from uh -huh. my husband's office. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. It was very weird. It did not want to do what I expected. Yeah. Well, sometimes things don't do what you expect them to do. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with it. Let's She'd be see. cool. Make some type of a wide pot. How about a wide pot? White, wide short pot. That'll be different. I can make my line straight. That'd be super. So one one of the things about having that barrier on the layer is it allows you to move these uh, big brush pens around a bit with your finger. They stay, you know, they're permanent once they're dry, but while they're still wet like this, I can take my finger and smudge it, which is really good. Really gets it uh, moving around and blending in. I do like that. Oh, what am I drawing? What am I drawing? I always well, I'm going to also add some other colors. Now that I've, you know, put this blue on there, I want to add a little bit of this vibrant green. More of a highlight. Now my finger's dirty. <laughs> Do not use the same finger peg. <laughs> okay. Fingers are clean again. Yay. But I wanna I wanna get this in here to get more of a highlight on here. 
and brighten that up. Liking that green on there. Oh, fun, Holly. That's great. Her uh, six year old granddaughter is coming to play. Fun. That's fun. I applied to adopt a dog. I haven't heard back from a shelter. Uh huh. Have you picked the dog yet, or are you waiting? Uh, there's a, a specific dog. It's a a multi poo. A witch. Multi -poo. Uh, Maltese Terrier and Poodle. I actually met oh. this breed um, at soccer. One of the girls who comes to watch her boyfriend play had one and I played with it and held it and messed around with it and I didn't have any allergy symptoms at all. Oh nice. And I, I mean I had it, I held it on my lap, I let it rub all over me. So uh -huh. uh, I saw one on Pet Finder that and it was it's up in um, Chandler, which is like 90, 90 miles away ish. Cool. And so I went online and applied but I have not heard back from them. Apparently they look at your application and then they call you if they think you're a possibility for adopting them. I mean, they're fussy, uh -huh. they're very fussy. That's all right. And uh, then you go meet meet the animal. And, yeah. Um, I mean, you want um, to be a good fit, you know. Yeah. But they're kind of, the application was just a little bit judgy, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, wow. You know, people people do have pets. Yeah. It was, it was kind of judgy. It was kind of funny. I mean, I know they want to place their pets with a suitable home. but Yeah. Like, how much are you willing to spend on pet health care? How much money do you make? How old are you? Is there any any this in your family? Is there any that in your family? Da da da. I'm wow. thinking, wow, it's like you're adopting a child. Yeah. If something were well, to happen to you, it is kind of like adopting a kid, you know? Yeah. Well, it is. It definitely is. Because you've got to really make a commitment, and I guess they're saying basically, be serious. If you're going to put this in, you know, be yeah, serious. Yeah, but yeah. still, it was kind of like you felt a little bit judged. Yeah. I had to answer all these questions. Okay. I wonder if I should have. I don't know. It's a journal page, right? Yeah. So. That being said, allows me a little bit of freedom here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get uh, a hmm, What do I want to do? I want to do something. Whoops. Whoops. I mean, plants are green, but you can only have so much green before you just want something else. Most plants are green. I'm going to try. I don't know. I just, I know it's not Christmas, but for some reason I'm feeling like this 
needs something that looks a little berry-ish here. <laughs> it's berry season. I'm with you. You feeling it? You picking up what I'm putting down there? Yep, yep. All right. And whoops, I just bumped my camera. And everybody's going seasick. Ooh. Yeah, you're right, Holly. I mean, you really have to be committed in those instances. And it's not fair to the pet. You know, I see so many of them that people get them and then they just don't care for them. Actually, my, my kids have some of those kind of pets because somebody else, uh, yeah, just didn't keep them or take care of them. So I know that my son's cats have all come that way. That they just kind of roamed in in the middle of winter and needed a place to go. So, yeah, my my youngest son has two cats, and they're both adopted strays. One mm -hmm. of them was uh, has the clipped ear and everything from that program where they catch and release. They catch them, spam and release them. Oh yeah, it's one of those cats. Yeah, so definitely uh, was living rough. Wow. Um, when he got when he when one of our friends was feeding her uh -huh. in his backyard and then asked Nance if he wanted to take her. She's she's a, a kind of mean cat because, you know, yeah. she hisses at you and stuff because she's been out. Well, they, yeah, I mean, they had to fend for themselves. Yeah. Okay, so now I want... All right, I need one more. I think that's going to be tall. I need something in the background here. What kind of plant can I draw that is tall? Maybe just something that looks kind of like a tree or something. Maybe, Maybe. some sort of a one one stem type of a plant, tall. Something. I don't know. What do I want to draw? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe these types of leaves or something. I don't know. So I think next. I should probably look at some of my quotes. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to write something. I'm not sure if I want to add any other imagery on here. I mean, I could. I was actually thinking about some kind of bird or something like this, but you know, the prompt was what leaf today? Is that what it was? Plants. 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 So okay, I don't need a bird. I got a plant. Well, you could have a bird if you yeah, want. I could. I could. But let me look. I've got. Uh, I've got this thing full of, um, I don't know if you guys do this, but I have different um, folders with things like words, letters, rub-ons, um, and this is just chock full of things to pull out when I'm at that stage of the process. Uh, In a perfect world, why would I be all organized? I'm kind of organized, sort of. You are organized. Not very. <laughs> Not when it comes to my stuff. I can't find things when I need it. So I'm liking this one. Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. 
good advice. I'll just get my glue stick here and make a mess. There we go. Uh, like this one too, out of limitations comes creativity. Here we go. Stay curious. That's a good one. I like that. Okay, so I've got words. And you know, you don't have to do words. You could just do total abstract. Um, some pages I like to just do total abstract. Some pages I really like the words on. Some pages I like the images on. Um, you know, it depends on the day. Bye, Sybil. She usually leaves and goes back to work. <laughs> yeah. I know she's excited about that wedding, though. This should be pretty good. Oh, all right. That does not want to fit. Oop. Are we getting close to uh, time? I don't even know. Uh, we got about half hour, I think. Half an hour? Oh, that's plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be done with this one and moving on. So I did do, let's see, I did yesterday's this morning. I did two days yesterday because... I was behind because of travel. And you can do that. You know, I these were meant to be fast pages. They were just meant to be, you know, not something that takes a lot of time because I knew I wasn't going to have the time to devote. So let's see if I can get this to... I think I can stand up behind, and wow, that'll just be a whole page full of plants. This Super. is one of those uh, pilot multi-ball pens. Trying to get it to outline here. Not everything wants to work on these surfaces, I can tell you that. This one is one that works pretty well. It's permanent. Which I like. So if I did come back with any wet medium, or even if I just, you know, wanted to spray seal the page, it would be one that would work with that. So anyway, so that's, um, what did I say it was? Plant. And then tomorrow for Friday, I'm going to be out again. I've got um, doctor's appointments with my husband. So I need to figure out what I'm doing for tomorrow. So these are the other two pages that I worked on. This says you are part of all that surrounds you. 
your connection to the beauty and mystery of life. And then the other one was shrink. That's so why I did a shrinking violet. Violet doesn't like people, noise, parties, or dancing. Please be quiet. Shh. <laughs> so that was fun. Okay. And then this one was for, what was it? Oh, mix. I did a, a mixture of stuff on there. And then plant. And now we need rocket. Rocket man. Um, what would I have for that? I had, I had pulled out a couple of papers like this that I could put in the background. Yeah, it's a lot of paints. I don't know if I want anything that dark. Might be okay. Yeah, why not? <coughs> I haven't done a black page for a while. Figure out where that goes. Thank you, Holly. So we'll do it a quickie here. Um, I get some, I got some Elizabeth craft tape here. This is a, a heavier card. It's uh, kind of in between cardstock and, you know, I don't want to just trust that my glue is going to hold that in place. And I couldn't put it on straight. Oh, good job, Peg. <laughs> Terrarium on. There. I like terrariums. I think they're cool. <laughs> they are. Like little, I used to make them when I was a kid. Jar. I'd go find jars and stuff. And, you know. It was fun. It's a fun thing to do with kids. Yep. And then you'd find the dirt and the plants out in the yard and plant them up. And then <laughs> I'd go find some bugs to put in them. Poor bugs. Probably murdered a lot of bugs doing that. You know, it's like uh, fireflies. You know, we were bad mm -hmm. fireflies when we were kids. But in my defense, it was adults that taught me that. <laughs> Holly says she loves how those uh, look with the jelly print shell. Thank you. Thanks, Holly. Um, yeah. So I'm going to stick this down. I don't know if this is directional or not. Close enough. This is some old paper. Um, where did I get this from? I think I got this from Paper Parachute. And I don't know if they still carry this or not. But I thought it was appropriate for the page we're doing here. So, 
have a background. Actually, I think I would like some gold or something on that. We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. Um, but rocket. Hmm. I need to figure out what I want to do about that. Flipping through my pages of paper here. I think I'll just draw something on a piece of paper. Set this out of the way and get a piece of paper. I just need some. anything too thick because I want to glue it down. Which means I'm just going to grab a sheet out of the printer. And you probably need a probably need a moon in there somewhere. You know, I should have done. I should have done the rocket with <laughs> the whole moon thing for the month. If you guys don't know about that, check out um, the full moon art. I know Shell's done hers for this month. Yes, I've already done mine. And I need a pencil. There we go. All right. So. How about a little how about a little moonwalker? Sounds like a good plan. <clears throat> if you have a rocket then you're probably going somewhere. Maybe it's the moon. Let's see gonna need a space helmet <laughs> right well I would think so yes yeah maybe some gadgets on the side of the helmet and let's see since he's walking trying to balance we'll get him Get them out here this direction. I think my white Posca pen is about ready to give yeah. up the ghost. What is it with the pens today? <laughs> <laughs> it's just running out of um, ink, I think. Eventually it does. That's why. Yeah, darn it. That's why I keep buying them because they will eventually run out. According to Amazon, I have bought that three pack of white fine Posca pens seven times. Oh boy. So that tells you how many Posca pens I've been through. Yeah. I probably have some in the drawer. I bought, okay, Jerry's Art Rama. I bought some new Posca pens. Have you seen the ones that have the brushes? No. Oh, yeah, baby. Let me show you. Uh, it might be a good thing I didn't go to that after all. Super <laughs> duper. I might um, have spent money, lots um, of money. Probably not the best thing. It has a, it has a brush tip, right? Like uh-huh. And it's got a little pump action back here huh. so you pump it to put the paint down into the brush tip 
Well, that's interesting. So, like, yeah. If you're if you're coloring your little astronaut here with your Posca, you see how you can just brush it on like paint. Wow. And it's acrylic paint, right? It's it's acrylic paint. Oh. oh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, oh, that is so cool. Now I'm gonna have to go look for it. Yeah, so I mean here's our little space guy. And I just colored him with my Posca brush marker. So when did they get that? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's the first time I saw him was down there at Jerry's. But you know, there it's the same as the other ones because it comes in. I only bought Let's see, I bought three colors in that. I got the blue, the white, and the gold. Got to oh, have a gold, gold, right? So, I mean, let's just put a few little gold embellishments on his helmet here. How Pasca. <laughs> okay, and then let's see. I need to color in those moon boots, right? Did your kids wear moon boots? Um, no, but I did. Oh, okay. In high school. Yeah. They were a thing. Definitely a thing. What color is that? Not exactly flesh tone. That's more of a yellow. Well, he can have blonde hair, I guess. My kids mostly grew up in Arizona, so. Well, yeah. They were. We were in Kansas for a bit when they were really small, but um, Arizona doesn't really need boots. Let's see, where's my... I had bright colored moon boots when I was in high school. I don't remember exactly what color they were, but I know they were bright. Okay, so I should probably cut this dude out. And I can glue him down and finish him up a little bit. Holly says her kids grew up with moon boots, wearing moon boots. Yeah. Beck says that you're making her list grow and grow and grow. <laughs> well, you know, when I see fun things, I just have to share with my friends. <laughs> Gina says, even though I'm not a pasta fan, I bought some. Of course, she had autocorrect. Yeah. <laughs> I get that autocorrect on comments quite a lot. When people say Posca, they, it, it corrects it to pasta. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that we're all fans of pasta, but we're also fans of Posca. <laughs> I don't know why it always thinks it knows better than what we know. Oh, my mom was getting so mad yesterday. She was yelling at her phone. Ah. This thing keeps correcting stuff that doesn't need to be corrected. <laughs> Like, yeah, it does that. All right. 
phone size. I want. Where is? Okay. Um, Here we go. Nope. Hmm. Here's our little astronaut. Cute. I just need to do some pen work on there when this dries. And honestly, I think he needs he needs a few other things here. Because he's an ace astronaut, right? Where can I put my words? It's just right here. Yep, that'll work. So if I can make it straight, that'll be good. Yeah, I got to <laughs> these brushes. They are fun. Those people have been using that, whatever that thing is, all freaking day that I've been in here. Wow. That um, electric hammer thing. I mean, they must be like taking out a pool or something. Oh, well, that's a possibility, I guess. Just like, <laughs> just giving yeah. me a headache. Huh. That's not good. Wish they would shoot it. All right, I think this page is done. All right. Very cool. He kind of has this weird little line over here. So I think I'm just going to pretend like that was intentional and uh, make kind of like a, a line border all the way around. That line is on the print, but I don't know. What happened exactly there? But if I just continue it, then it looks like it was intentional, right? Right. I meant to do that. touch but it's kind of like alrighty then I'm not going to start another page because I think we don't have that much time left you're probably right yeah. I probably won't even get this one done but it's worth a good start right yeah Got my little astronaut going. I just need to find him a rocket ship. <laughs> well, uh, he didn't get out there by flapping his arms. Right. Probably not. <laughs> so that'll probably be what's next on my agenda. And that's for tomorrow anyway. So I did get done what I needed to do for today was this one so we got our um, plant that's what it is it's a plant or leaf or whatever yeah. you want to call it so 
So anybody have any really good suggestions about what we should be doing next year? You know, remember to put your comments in wherever you find us. And um, I guess we'll call it a wrap for today. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or comments or anything you want to say before we go? Holly says she's getting back to cleaning. You can come clean at my house. Yeah. I think we're all going to have a week like that. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and cooking. Cooking and cleaning is on the agenda for sure. All right, Definitely. guys. Thanks so much for being here with us. Uh, be sure and use the hashtag if you post any of your pages because uh, we want to see what you're doing too. And yep. we appreciate you so much. And we'll see you again in two weeks. Yeah. So bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. I'm trying. It's just not wanting to go for some reason. Come on.